Shalom, Yasharala. Peace, Israel. First and foremost, I want to send all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makah, Kadash, Barakatai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect individual. This is your boy Azar coming at you with another lesson from the GMS Miami County. Today I'm going to talk about fools. Fools. F O O L S. Okay? Now, what is a fool? A person who is silly, a person who is stupid, a person who is ignorant, a person who is sinful, and a person who is wicked. Okay? All right. Now I got that information from the etymology dictionary. All right. Um, let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter one, verse seven. The fear of the heavenly of the Lord, thy power is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. And you see that a lot. OK, especially at the camp. You know, you may have a person at the camp uh, who may come over and see what we're about. And, you know, they're pretty well educated they may have a master's or a doctorate or whatever they may have be a master tradesman uh you know something like that but when they hear this truth about uh who are the real hebrew israelites who did, did yahweh shai die for and they found out that yahweh shai is 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 not the the, the son of man's name you know and they found out that yahweh is you know the is whom the world ignorantly calls God? They may reject that man. You know why? Because first of all, they're prideful. Fools are prideful, okay. And also, they have that. Some of them may have that Christianity uh, demon on them. You know. All right. So fools, it says, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay. A lot of them may ask you, what I got to do. You know the to be righteous or what I have to do to uh, um, get right with the heavenly Father, and you may tell them, and they may be like, "Oh, I can't do that." Well, you despising and rejecting, okay, instruction. All right, all right. Let's go to the book of um, Proverbs twenty three. Twenty three and nine. Speak not in the ears of fool, for he will despise wisdom of thy words. And it, it, it said the same thing in uh Proverbs one and seven, right? One and seven, Proverbs one and seven. Let's go back to it. Okay. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay, what did it say in Proverbs twenty three and nine? Okay. Speak not in the ears of a fool for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Okay? Fools are prideful. They think they know it all. Okay? All right? Now, just because you're a fool doesn't mean you're totally dumb. Okay? But being that uh, if somebody at tells you to do something and, you know, like me, I'm in health and wellness. I've been doing the health and wellness thing for like 10 years now. But I learn different things from different people all the time. Even people who have just started getting into the, the the raw vegan lifestyle because i'm raw vegan you know um i get ideas from people who who just began being raw vegan um um and and other ideas from from vegetarians you know um you know so when it comes to this truth and also things in the world if somebody tells you something that can make your life a little bit better don't despise it don't turn your nose up at it don't be prideful because fools despise wisdom fools think they know it all fools think they can do anything they want and it's right you know but what but when it comes to this truth is what i'm really trying to touch bases with um you have some camp leaders who uh who who uh uh turn down um why sayings from the the brothers that are lower than them you know and then you got some brothers who have a certain level who are maybe third or fourth in command and and a, and a lower brother may try to tell them something they don't want to listen and vice versa with the, the brother who's at the last at the camp may 
you know, may, may get corrected by a brother who's like third in command and the brother last last to join the camp may be like, oh, you can't correct me. I know what I'm doing. No, you can't despise that, man. You cannot reject and despise wisdom because um, that could lead to destruction. And I think that's my next precept. Let me see. Proverbs uh, 10 and 24. I think, let me see. It's Proverbs 10 and 20. Let me see, 10 and 24. Oh, 10 and 14, Salakia. Okay. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of foolish is near destruction. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so when you despise wisdom, when you reject instruction, you know, you know, uh, it says it right here in uh, Proverbs 10 and 14. But the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. You set yourself up, man, for destruction. You know? And that could be in this truth or whether you're out in the world. You know, a, a brother may try to be trying to tell, tell you how to do your job right. You know, you working on a machine or whatever. And a brother may tell you, don't do it like that, man. You're going to get hurt. You know? Uh, you know? And then you, you, you be like, no, I don't do it my way. And then you end up getting hurt. Well, it's like that in this truth, too. If a brother tells you to do something... You know, and it's in righteousness and you despise the wisdom that he 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 told you to do, the most high can chastise you and fuck you up. Okay? So you gotta be careful, you know? And you have a lot of uh a lot of uh uh scoffers who have degrees and stuff like that. And you know, they're not really of they're overly educated, but when it comes to this to this truth. You know, they may reject it and say things. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, that's not true. Well, first of all, have you even considered reading the word? Have you even considered going into the etymology, going into the Greek? OK, have you have you even considered going on YouTube and finding out who the real I Hebrew Israelites are? OK, and the information is out there, but some people put, are in denial about it. You know, they despise the wisdom. They reject it. You know, they don't want to hear it. Why they don't want to hear it? Because it's too much for them. You know what I'm saying? Like when I first got into this truth, man, I had to shake that Christianity, Christian and Christian entity, Christ, Christian demon off of me, man. It took a while, but eventually I did. The more research I did and and started to see what was going on in the world, I was like, yeah, man, this is true. But some people see it and don't believe it. And when you deny it, that is, when you deny uh, what you see, you are despising wisdom. Okay? Let's go to the book of uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 6. Okay? Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes 5A7. Okay, let me go. All right. Okay. Ecclesiastes 7 and 6. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of, of the fool. This is also vanity. Okay. So when when so when fools uh like when when fools talk or uh if they think something is funny or uh, uh the laughter of a fool it's like the crackling of a pot man cuz you know back in the day um uh, uh in ancient days you had to cook your uh food up under a fire okay and um Hold on, Salakia. So Wait a minute. I lost my place. Ecclesiastes 7 and... Okay, yeah. 7 and 6. For as the crackling of thorns under under a pot, so is the laughter of a fool. This is also vanity. So that crackling represents a sound, okay? Now, it's good to um, hear sounds certain sounds uh but 
you know, what good is it if it's not going to help you? You know what I'm saying? You know, um, you know how like you have food like back in ancient days, uh, you know, uh, you had to cook your food up under a fire. OK, and you had to put some uh, wood, some uh, dry material up under the uh, uh, up under the uh, pot and make your food. OK, now when you burn that uh, uh, dry material, you know what happens? It makes like a popping sound. Pop, 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 you know. And it's saying here. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This also is vanity. So it's, it's, you know, when fools do certain things, it's in vanity. Okay? When fools do certain things, it's in vanity, man. You know? Like when you talk uh, about the three, John 3.16 doctrine, when people come up to our camp and talk about the John 3.16 doctrine, uh, they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, oh yeah, Jesus died for the world. Well, first of all, first of all, the Son of Man is not called Jesus. It's the Son of Man is called Yahweh Shai, okay? Whom the world in ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and his Father is Yahweh, whom the world ignorantly calls God. Okay, go into the etymology and 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 the Greek of that word world. Okay. He did not die for the whole world because, first of all, you have certain people who are not Hebrew Israelites. OK, you have heathens. OK, you have Esau. Esau is not an Israelite. So you mean to tell me that Yahweh Shai died for Esau? No. And, and a lot of people know the story about Esau and Jacob, but let me let me let me not get into that. OK, let me not get into that. But my point is. Hey, when it comes to this truth, don't despise it. If you're a person just coming into the camp, uh, don't despise correction. Okay, if a brother tries to tell you to do something, don't despise correction. If it's within righteousness, don't despise it. Okay, because fools despise correction. And when you despise correction, that can lead you into destruction. All right. Well, this is... Uh, yeah. Your boy, Azar, coming at you with another lesson from the GMS Miami camp. All right. I hope this lesson was edifying. Until next time, Shalom and all praises to Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai. Shalom.